get my six. I look bat crap crazy right now, don't I? That's what I look like after I just ran 30 minutes in 90 degree temperatures. Scott Stadium back here behind me. Sitting here waiting on a UVA football game. A few months early, I figured I'd go ahead and just start tailgating. See that, man? I'm gonna have no football game going on to tailgate. To be honest. I honestly ran for 30 minutes and then I walked for 15 and there's a light breeze right here and I just don't feel like going anywhere yet. Man, that guy is cool back there, huh? Man, I wish I was that cool. I used to be that cool. Then I had to start paying for my own gas and tires and that coolness wore off. So, as you can tell, we're not looking for him, her, it or they on the homestead tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna get back before dark. Now, if, you've, uh, if, if you're watching this video on YouTube, which you are right now, look at that. I am so smart, I can literally like see into the future. But that means I made it home and I uploaded this video. I'm not gonna sit here forever. I'm just gonna sit here until, man, 90 degrees is hot. 30 miles, we're well, not 30 miles, but 30 minutes. Up and down, up and down, it's steep. But listen, things are not always as they appear. I make that crazy face again with my hair all. Uh, of course, I am crazy. They don't call me crazy late because I'm sane. But listen, that's kind of like a theme uh, of this great contribution to mankind I'm getting ready to make in the form of literature that I worked on for like, got up at five o'clock this morning and was glued to the computer, the screen writing, by like six, took a break to do some whatever, planted some trees and a few things, but worked all day, came into town around six just to get a break of, from the scenery. But one of the general themes of this great contribution to mankind by way of literature really is things are not always what they appear to be, especially when you have the, have the mind of a lunatic. But even if you don't have the mind of a lunatic, like a guy like me. I mean, I am like so sane, it's boring. It's like vanilla. But listen, here's an example. Uh, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. So while I was running today, yeah, I don't wanna sit here and get all cramped up and tight. So while I was running today, um, I was on, coming across campus. I'd run back into some neighborhoods, coming back on campus. And here comes this, this young man and this young woman you know, like college student age. I see him running across the street through an intersection in front of me, going around a turn. So I go up around the turn, and you know, man, getting old, it's not for wimps, especially when you used to actually be pretty good at stuff, you know, like running. And what I'll say about that is the older I get, the better I was. I'm telling you, with each passing year, I was better and better the year before. So I'm running, I pop around the turn there, and uh, there they are, I see them. And I'm like, it's like, you know what, man? Maybe this old dog still got a few few extra strides in there. He never ran out yet. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can catch him. And there was a straight. It was like 200 yards going up the hill there, going up the corner, the place they call the corner there on campus where the restaurants and stuff are. Well, I was keeping pace with them, man. They weren't getting any further ahead of me than they already were. I was about halfway up that hill. I said, man, I'm going for it. You know, I, I'm older now and I've lost some speed, but I still got my strength. I still got my endurance, you know? So I gear down a little bit. I lean into it and I start swinging my arms because that's a seat. That's a secret. That's the key to running uphill. You lean into the hill and you let gravity pull you up, you know? So I'm pumping my arms. I'm chugging and you look down, you don't wanna look up. You wanna keep your head down and let gravity work for you. So gravity's pulling me up this hill with my arms pumping, you know, these mm, firewood chopping arms. 
and I look up when I'm about cut the distance by 50 meters and they're getting closer I'm reeling them in I'm like man I'm gonna get these these college student age people out here exercising I don't care if I'm old and I'm a has-been and that the older I get the better I was so I just keep chugging I just keep pumping my arms I get to the top of that hill and uh, I draw up even with them and I'm breathing hard and I'm sweating even worse than I was you know 90 degrees and uphill and I'm you know running down these two college age people and that's when it occurred to me they were walking but on boom true story yeah. so I guess when I saw them running earlier across the road they were just trying to get through the intersection before a car came by so that's an example of how things are not always as they appear you might see something you see one little you know, 5% of a situation. If you want to think you know the other 95%, man, you don't. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what your past experiences are. Every situation, every experience is unique. It's different. And uh, that sounds vague, and it's not making a lot of sense right now, but it's going to make sense to you real soon. We're getting close. I do believe by the end of June, this thing's going to be out. It's going to be published. It's going to break every record in the world of literature it is so exceptionally stupendous that even though it's a work of literature it's probably even going to break some records uh on the on the pop music charts it's probably going to like shatter records in the country music category even though it's literature just every record's going to fall and but the most important thing is that it's going to save millions and millions and millions of lives over the next few generations. With each successive upcoming generation, this gift that I'm diligently gluing my eyeballs to the screen have been for a long time now, getting this idea that's been percolating in my head for about four years now, finally out in word. Here's Scott Stadium, by the way. This is a front. Right over here, that's where me and Dearly and Daniel watch the football games. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know what they're going to do. I'm hoping that, you know, everything's back to normal and that, like, you know, as long as you've, you know, been vaccinated, you're allowed into the games, which is pretty much how things have been. Things are opening back up. It's really great. I mean, you're going into stores now, seeing people's faces, seeing people's faces around here. That's nice sometimes not always nice ah oh, that's just that was mean come on now it's nice seeing people's faces again oh, I can't wait all right I think I'm good enough to get in the truck and drive home I did my 15 minute walk cool down but man it was still just so hot and I was still so sweaty I had to walk around a little bit more and take advantage of this breeze so Thanks for showing up. This is pretty much just a check-in really more than anything. I wanted to give you up that, that update. And remember, man, just because you, you see a little bit of a piece of a story, don't think you know the whole story. You're going to understand exactly what that means uh, very clearly here soon. See you for more next time. From homesteading off the grid, whatever the hell this channel is about.